I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Lent for Evangelicals. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And our kids, our people, we need this gospel in these dark times. Lent <laughs> smells such of law, doesn't it? Kind of a Roman Catholic vestige. Uh, a sort of beat yourself up and Steal your own lunch money so that God can know how much you care about him. Or suffer with Jesus. You know, like that hamburger that you're not eating on Friday, that's really going to mess Jesus up. Well, let's hold on for a minute. Just let's, let's pause for a second. Before there were 40 days of purpose, before there were, before there were the 12-step program, before um, uh, we worked on how authentic we were, there was Lent, one of the oldest seasons in the church year. 40 days, not counting the Sundays, before Lent, before Easter, there was a time of reflection. And this is the important part. All that joking that I did earlier isn't Lent. Lent isn't about the suffering that we do. Lent isn't about the sacrifices we make. Uh, Lent isn't even about the fast, even though Lent is a fast. Lent is about Jesus and how much Jesus cares for us, what Jesus thinks of us, and what Jesus does for us. He heads up to Jerusalem over and against those that would kill him, knowing that he's going to die. He sets up shop in the temple. He teaches, he preaches. He's betrayed into the hands of sinners by one of his friends, denied by his BFF, seized as a common criminal, beaten, bruised, whipped, mocked. And then... The one born king of the Jews, the one whom angels sang about on Christmas, the one who wise men ventured to bring their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We take nails and we nail them into his hands and his feet and we lift him above the earth to die. God dies. And I would invite you to change your view of Lent. Don't hate on Lent. Why don't you substitute the word Lent for Jesus' suffering and death? A time to ponder the suffering and death of Jesus. Change the meaning of Lent for yourself from I'm going to beat myself up to Jesus was beaten up for me. And in a world where Christianity is known for what we do for God... Lent is the time where we repent of that and fix our eyes on what God does for us in his son. The liturgical calendar, the seasons, even ancient worship, it's coming back. And it's coming back because it gives, because there's a meaning and a, there's a historicity, there's a, there's a universalness to it. And I think the best thing that's making a comeback is Lent. Not because we're going to beat ourselves up. Not because we're going to sacrifice. But because we're going to fix our eyes on the author and perfecter of the, our faith, who for the joy set before us endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He died even for me. And if you've looked at religion and you've thought to yourself how much a fail you are, how 
you're a loser when it comes to making a commitment for your, for, to God and all the sins that you were supposed to give up. But you, I mean, you look at yourself and you're like, Bleh. you can't even look in the mirror. Sometimes you stay up at night troubled by what you do or the consequences of what you've done. Tomorrow, tomorrow starts a season where you died all of that in his death. As surely as he rose from the dead on Easter morning, you will rise from the dead. It's not only about weeping and mourning and self-denial. We kind of need that in Christianity, don't we? Jesus doesn't say, if you fast. He says, when you fast. But most of all, the most important thing is what he does at Lent. His Lent is the center of Christianity. His movement to the cross is the majority of the Gospels. And his Lent is what needs to be the center of our faith. It's the gospel. It's the gospel. The gospel that saves religious losers like me and those who want to do good but don't do and then do the things they hate. Give Lent another try. Give it another chance. It's making a comeback. Most of the ancient stuff is. It's cycle like that. You wait long enough, bell-bottom pants are back in. But most of all, I think it's making a comeback because we need it to make a comeback. We need our eyes fixed off ourselves and on Jesus. And that is what the Lenten season is all about. Deny yourself, take up your cross, follow me. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.